Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ahad Consultant YouTube channel. This is a special edition in response to the Movement Control Order No. 2 which was announced by the Prime Minister yesterday. All of us are worried with the infection rate of COVID. This is an animation of confirmed cases in Malaysia from January 25, 2020 until January 6, 2021. Obviously, as you can see, the daily infection rate is 10 times higher than the previous high recorded during MCO 1.0. From what I can see, the PM is still announcing the same action plan as per MCO number 1. As the saying goes, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Obviously, desperate times call for desperate measures. We need more measures to mitigate the spread of COVID-19 virus, including engineering control measures. Not only the Ministry of Health, police and army need to implement the MCO. Other departments like DOS, JKR and all engineering fraternity NGOs need to be proactive to assist in whatever way they can. Engineering control also need to be instituted in the action plans to combat the virus. In this video, we, will, we are going to suggest ways to mitigate COVID in offices, shops, supermarkets and factories. These are the combination of our previous video that we had presented. First, do an assessment of your building for dampness and mold. High humidity encourages bacteria and fungus to breed. Identify sources of dampness and check where it comes from. Repair sources of dampness immediately. Regular assessment is a must to ensure no leak and dampness. 2. Control humidity in air conditioning spaces between 50 to 60 percent relative humidity. Studies have shown that at relative humidity of 50 percent, less than 1 percent of virus survive after two days. Make sure there is no infiltration of moisture into the building from outside. Install dehumidifier in high traffic and high humidity spaces. Check your cooling coil performance to ensure proper dehumidification is achieved. You can install portable or permanent dehumidifier to reduce humidity in your spaces. We suggest also to install ultraviolet germicidal irradiation UVGI in your spaces. It can kill airborne virus in the air. You can install them in offices, on the wall, or inside the air handling unit. With proper humidity level and UV treatment, we can reduce the potential of infection. Fresh air fan and exhaust fan need to be installed to bring in fresh air into the space. Increase fresh air ventilation into space as this reduces virus concentration and dilute the air inside the office. Flushing of outdoor or flushing of indoor air should be practiced during unoccupied hours for at least two hours before and after operation hours. This can remove still air from the spaces. Use pressure and airflow direction control to control the pot uh, potential transmission. Airflow should flow between clean to dirty space. Use fan to create high and low pressure zone to ensure it is successful. You can adjust the supply and return air diffuser and office furniture arrangement to enable this. You can also install filter bank, HIPAA filter bank in air handler. Of course, it depends on the space available to you within the HU unit. 
HEPA filter can filter up to 0.3 micron, including viruses. If you are unable to do that, use portable HEPA unit at confined spaces. There must also be enforcement by the authorities. It's desperate measure call for DOS to make inspection to premises to ensure all these remedial measures are done. The OSHA Act requires building owner and management to provide safe working environment to occupant. Someone asked me today, all this will cost money. I say yes, but compare that with the cost of closing down business. Our livelihood is at stake now. We need holistic approach to combat this pandemic. We are just about to recover from NCO number one. And we, small and medium enterprises, SME, will surely be affected by this economic slowdown. I reckon this MCO may last 14 days or it will go on for another 14 days and so on. Look at Sabah case. A minimum of three weeks is required before flattening the curve. After that, what is, your, what is your action plan? The virus is still around. Please share this video with your friends as many as possible. I hope it can help you and your organization in fighting this virus. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and kita jaga kita. Thank you.